Union of stamens. Fusion of stamens among one another or with the other floral parts is called union of stamens. It is of two types, namely, 1. Cohesion of stamens and 2. Adhesion of stamens. Cohesion of stamens. Fusion of stamens among one another is called cohesion of stamens. It is the following types. 1. Adelphi. 2. Syngenesias and 3. Synendry. Adelphi. In the Andrisium, anthers are free, filaments are fused and form into bundles is called Adelphi. Based on the number of bundles, it is of following types. Monoadelphas. The filaments of all the stamens are united to form only one bundle. Example, hibiscus, diadelphus. The filaments of the stamens fuse and form into two bundles. Example, dolichas. In dolichas, ten stamens are present. Filaments of nine stamens are fused and form into one bundle and tenth stamen remains free act as a second bundle. Polydelphus. The filaments of the stamens are fused and form into many bundles. Example, citrus. Syngenesias. In the Andrisium, anthers are fused and filaments are free. It is found in Asterasia members. Examples, disc florets of Tridax and Helianthus. Synendry. The filaments and anthers of all stamens are fused completely. Its characteristic feature of family, Cucurbitaceae, example, Cucurbita. Adhesion of stamens. Fusion of stamens with other floral parts like calyx, corolla, gynesium is called adhesion of stamens. It is of four types. 1. Epicephalus, 2. Epipetalus, 3. Epiphyllus, and 4. Gynostagium. Epicephalus. Stamens are attached to sepals. Example, gravilia, silver oak. Epipetalus. Stamens are attached to petals. It is commonly seen in the gamopetalus flowers. Example, the tura. Epiphyllus or epipetalus. Stamens are attached to the perianth lobes. Example, asparagus. Gynostegium. Stamens are attached to the stigmas of gynesium. Example, calotropies. Dehiscence of anthers. The process of liberation of pollen grains by the splitting of anther is called dehiscence of anthers. These are of following types. 1. Longitudinal. 2. Transverse. 3. Valvular. And 4. Porous. Longitudinal dehiscence. The anthers break vertically and longitudinally. Example, the tura. Transverse dehiscence. The anthers break transversely. Example, hibiscus. Volvula dehiscence. The anther breaks like valves. Example, casita. Porous dehiscence. The antelopes dehiscences in the form of pores at their apices. Example, Solanum.